In Idaho, investigators entering the holiday weekend with no new leads in the case of four murdered college students. And tips from the public helped them track down an abandoned Hyundai Elantra, but investigators ultimately determined the car is not related to the murders. Now, nearly six weeks since the brutal stabbings, the case is in a critical stage. News Nation's Alex Capriello live for us in Moscow. Alex, what are we learning today? Natasha, good evening to you. Yeah, this appeared to be one of the most significant breakthroughs in this case that's now lasted over a month, the quadruple homicide that occurred in this house right here behind me. But Moscow police have ruled out the possibility that that Hyundai Elantra that was found in Eugene, Oregon, is connected to this case in any way. Even still, we're investigating what we do know, like the type of knife believed to be used during this quadruple homicide and just how easy it is to get in Idaho. Moscow police say this white Hyundai Elantra located in Eugene, Oregon, is not related to the case. The car matching the description of a vehicle that police have spent weeks looking for. It belongs to a woman out of Colorado with no connections to the murders. The police are now asking the public to stop contacting the owner, which means detectives are back to square one, sorting through more than 7,500 emailed tips, more than 4,000 phone tips, and more than 4,500 digital media submissions, all related to the information they have put out publicly. A white car, an approximate time of the murders, and the suspected weapon, a fixed blade knife. That one switches out all the way still. Turns out, hunting culture and owning knives is incredibly common in Idaho. Whether it's a hardware store, a sporting goods store, or an antique shop, you can find a fixed blade anywhere. And you don't even need to be 18 to purchase. Knives, no. You can buy knives anywhere. Nobody... Nobody questions that. The store owners and employees I spoke to say they don't pay attention to who buys or think twice about their intentions. They don't discriminate or ask what they plan to use the weapon for. But after these murders, they say they may put more thought into it before selling. So this is something now uh, you start to think twice about, huh? Yeah, I'm like, hmm. Well, and, you know, there's a couple things around that I think I hope nobody picks that up and comes this way. And it's important to note that everyone that I spoke to today, I'm talking about everyone, has turned over their information, their video surveillance to the police. They want to see this brought to an end just as much as anyone out there in the country that's been paying attention to this story. And even still, Moscow police have not named any sort of suspect or persons of interest at this point. Natasha. Uh, and Alex, can you tell us a little bit about how the town actually is now that students are gone for winter break? Right. This is a town of approximately 25,000, and I would say the bulk of it is the University of Idaho. So when winter break comes, it sort of becomes a bit of a ghost town. It definitely feels like that at this point. You walk down Main Street that's, you know, cuts right through the middle of downtown, and there's very few people walking around. Uh, but even still, there's sort of this somberness that's lingering in the air. You know, when I ask many of these store owners, the managers, the employees, they just want to see this come to an end because it just feels like there's this heavy heavy weight that's on uh, everyone's chest at this point. Uh, so while certainly things have died down in the town center, I think everyone is looking forward to students coming back and maybe feeling that sense of rejuvenation again. And hopefully, of course, the most important thing is bringing this case to a close and finding some justice for these families. Certainly. Alex Capriello, live for us in Moscow. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.